Hey guys, it's me, The Legend, bringing you another showing off my fan creations. This is called The Factory. My own fan made horror map or horror characters. Now, it's based off a creepy pasta of My Little Pony, which never watched it, not brony, but I like the creepy pastas that come out of it. This is the Rainbow Factory, tactically. Hang on, where's my night vision? I should always have a night vision potion when I do these. There we go. Where was I? Yeah. This is supposed to be like the Rainbow Factory, but my own creation, of course. Now, how it is, is there's a lot of people down here that are technically subjects to the giant machine. Lots of characters, skull, books, dog, and chicken, and chosen right here. And whenever someone's chosen, so let's take this random person, they go over here, go on this lift, someone right there lifts them, they go over here, up the stairs, over here, put into this spot where those red uh, ketchup spots are. Yes, ketchup. They send them right there, cuff them there, go, and people's over here. They push this button, and they that guy is now in the afterlife. Then they go pick him up. Just go put these back. So they don't despawn. Alright, they pick them up, bring them over here, put them on here, and these bots use their weapons, where their tool, cut them up, cut them up, and then they fall into that and get grounded into power for the whole city outside. Up here is just the boss's office where they look on. Ring the bell for any living people, saying like it's cooking time. Random chest where it's supposed to have like lots of money. And vents too, which I will show you that soon. Well, probably at the end of this tour. Over here is where people cook food for the basement, well, the subjects. So random food, random food, all of this is all full of food, and potatoes, and fish, and meat, even though this is a world of animals, so makes you wonder how they get meat. Over here was the first way they bring their prisoners, or the subjects, right, bring them down there. Going back down to the basement. How they get food, they go up the stairs. Right here. And they reach under here to grab their food. And that's just a secret exit, which only kids or babies can get out of. Because it's too small for everyone else. And welcome to the city. And I know I'm not done because I start to show off the whole van system, but... Eh, let's start off with the city. Over here is just a random house. Over here is one of the workers' house. I believe her name was Gold or Silver. Uh, the bathroom with actual curtains. And I saw this on a YouTube first video and it just felt funny. And as he works, toilet paper, toilet. Bathtub, sink, and shower head. Over here is the kitchen, and now it turned into an MCTV crib show with drawers, drawers, shelves, shelves, fridge, with actual food. Over upstairs, the guest room. And her room, which there should be, yep, 
champion's note, which that was one of the characters that lived downstairs. And this one, since it's not a book and quiz, I can actually open it and read you what it says. Day one in the factory, me and Dog thought we had a good idea to escape, but it did not go well. Day two, chicken had an egg. Day three, new peewers came in. Day ten, saw my family went into the machine. Now I know there is no hope for any of us. Day twenty-one, saw an exit, but only kids can escape. And I am not leaving my friends behind. I will stay as long as it takes to see everyone escape or die trying. Day 42. Saw this beautiful wolf. Her fur was gray and white. Like a mix between snow that just fell from the sky. And the stone cold walls of this building. But she's on the other side. Both literally and physically. Sickly. I saw her put some wolves into the machine, but something tells me she's not a bad dog. This might be my last entry, so if it is, and another victim finds this, just escape. Go. Basically, he wished he did escape. Nope, close the closet. That's what the last one is. He wanted to escape. Well, he wished he escaped. Over here is the butcher. And like I said, everyone's an animal, so how do they get the meat? Well then, let me show you. Cook meat. They go up here. Well, some people work up here. There's supposed to be like a speaker saying like, Yeah, I would like a, a cow or something. So they used their, oh, I never turned it off. Hang on, let me just go and turn it off. Uh, button, button, turn off. Which that probably gives you guys an idea of what it is. They go here, well, with a lead or something, drop them down here. So let me just spawn one down there. And then the guys upstairs will say like, it's all good now. You can bring them out or push the button. Then they push the button and listen. Water. Fall into lava. Dies. And boom, more food. They go into the hoppers from the lava into the hopper where the food is. Oh, need to turn it off. And that's the butcher. Over here is the laundry mat that technically works. So let's say you got very dirty armor. You just throw it in the washer, wait a couple of seconds, turn it on, and your clothes are clean. And that's how it works. You put it in that hopper, go seal into this. This activates that, which is lava. Lava spawns, activates this. And this goes all the way here, activates this hopper to shoot into another one. And over here is a nice little building that mind controls people to do what they want. Let me just go inside the back because I am an employee. And here's the hypno machine. Every day there's a certain person they want. So they change the color of the beam, change whatever, and activates it. And that person is hypnotized but the boss is not that evil. He just let them go back home after. He makes sure they get home safely too. He has some hired thugs to watch over them. Over here is just a coffee shop. Nothing too big. Over here is the best spot for kids. The splash pad, 
And don't say the splash pad isn't a great place. Everyone loves splash pads. Especially the dumping things. <laughs> Yay, dump. And down the sewer drain. Over here is just a library. Return books. Go pick up a book. Give them the day they need to return. Right here is just a random house. And another random house. And that, I believe, is all the buildings and structures inside my own horror of the factory. Oh yeah, I forgot. The vents. So let me show you the vents. Oh yeah, and the exit they were talking about in the book was this. And this is the vent where he saw his family got thrown away. And these are just the outfits and their water. Alright, now into the belly of the beast, aka the vents. Nope, didn't need that. That's important. There we go. Back to creative. And the other vents. I don't know what I was to say, but they are vents. Run around the whole building. Every once in a while, you can look through and see rooms. Over here, another room. Yep, the Vader to go up. All right, next room. Yep, where they grind up the peoples. A view of the outside world. Upstairs to the boss's office. Another view of the machine. View of them pushing buttons. And a view, well, a bad view of them being tortured. Well, being killed. Alright, now up to the boss's office. There. And that is everything in the factory. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.